following video is my understanding of active surfactant matter. As it says in my disclaimer, I am self-taught, um, so please do your own research as well. I'm sure if I've made any mistakes, someone will happily hop in on the comments and let me know. Wink, wink. Um, but anyway, let's get on with it. Active surfactant matter, or ASM for short, is the percentage of the active ingredient in a given surfactant product. So if a surfactant lists its active surfactant matter percent as 30, for example, then that means that for every 100 grams of product, then 30 grams of that is the active ingredient. Cocomidal propyl betaine is an example of a 30% ASM surfactant. AOS 40, as the name would suggest, is 40% ASM, though sometimes it is 39%. To find out the exact ASM for your chosen surfactant, you need to be consulting the manufacturer's information. This video is also based on you first having a basic understanding of surfactant charges. Before we start formulating, we first need to determine what type of product we want to make and also the appropriate ASM for that product. The ASM for the product being the total active surfactant matter in the finished product. I like to stick to the following ranges. Face wash 8 to 10 percent, body washes 15 to 20 percent, shampoos 10 to 15 percent, except for solid shampoos, but that's another topic. And you may find different percents suggested elsewhere, but I find these work nicely for my products. Now you need to determine what surfactants to use and in what percentages. This is where you'd read up on your chosen surfactants and choose based on their function and the type of product you're making. For example, let's say we're making a face wash and I've chosen decal glucoside and cocomidal propyl betaine. I want a total ASM of between 8 and 10% for the product. Cocomidal propyl betaine has an ASM of 30% and decyl glucoside has an ASM of 51%. You then decide on your percent usage based on the recommended usage rates from the manufacturer and the type of product that you're making. Consider how irritating your surfactants are when choosing them and also consider how they interact. Surfactants all have charges. Anionic surfactants are negatively charged, non-ionic surfactants are neutral or have no charge, cationic surfactants are positively charged, and amphoteric surfactants are both positive and negatively charged. Some won't play well with others. For a face wash, I want something nice and cleansing but also gentle, which is why I've chosen these surfactants. The main job is cleansing, so this needs to be the main surfactant. So I've chosen a non-ionic surfactant, decal glucoside, which is very, very cleansing. Then our secondary surfactant is going to help with viscosity and foam and help prevent irritation from the main surfactant. And that's the cocomidal propyl betaine, and that is an amphoteric surfactant. I've decided on the following inclusion rates based on the manufacturer information and how cleansing I want it to be and how mild I want it to be. And I have decided on decal glucoside at 15% and cocomidal propyl betaine at 6%. Now we check that those inclusions fall into our 8 to 10% ASM bracket for our face wash. To do this, we need to do a calculation. The calculation is to determine the total level of ASM in the final product. To do this, we need to multiply the active surfactant matter in the surfactant by the rate at which we include it in our formula. For decal glucoside, we do the following calculation. 51% active surfactant matter in our surfactant multiplied by 0 0.15, which is our inclusion rate as a decimal, gives us 7.65%. So now we know we will have 7.65% decal glucoside active surfactant matter in our finished product. So let's do the same for our secondary surfactant. 
For cocamidopropyl betaine, we do 30% active surfactant matter in our surfactant multiplied by 0.06, which is our inclusion percent as a decimal, and that gives us 1.8%. So now we know we'll have 1.8% cocamidopropyl betaine ASM in our finished product. Last thing you need to do is add both of these together. So 7.65 plus 1.8 gives us 9.45% active surfactant matter in our final product. 9.45% falls nicely in the higher end of our 8 to 10% range for a face wash. So we're happy that with that and we know that it will be nice and cleansing. If you wanted, you could reduce inclusion rates and then recalculate to get a lower ASM if you want it to be more gentle. But because I've used quite gentle surfactants, I'm quite happy this will be quite a mild face wash anyway. And that's pretty much it. The skill comes in choosing your surfactants to avoid user irritation and to create a blend of them that gives you a combination of good cleansing, lather, bubbles, foam, mildness and skin feel. You can use more than two or even just one if you want to. Plus you need the understanding of charges and how they affect our products. If you want to learn more about this, then I have created a DIY formulators course. This is designed specifically for home-based makers, hobbyists and small business makers who want to understand a bit more about their craft, but aren't quite ready for a cosmetic chemistry qualification. I also have a Patreon where I can answer questions, share my video formulas and can also help via the message portal. All that is linked below. Please join if you want to. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one.